Greetings Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers! Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. Meow. Today, welcome to the prairies of Illinois. This is some fallow prairie that has been burned down and is gonna grow back. That's obviously just grass behind me there. But this video is about Gemini and so I got this Q&A request from Anna. Anna, if you're watching this, Thank you, you're a beautiful person and a beautiful Gemini, might I say. But how do you make the most of your Gemini energy? Okay, this is part of the Q&A series that we're doing. So be sure as we go into the woods here, I know you like that uh, change of background, Geminis, to think about other questions that you might have. So let's get into it. Gemini energy, what are you known for like having a challenge with, a real struggle with? Well, a good question. Geminis tend to struggle with keeping their attention on one thing and focused on that one thing to accomplish something, okay? That's like a challenge. So they have like an issue staying focused on what they need to stay focused on to get done what they need to get done. So therefore, Gemini's problem as well is that they sometimes don't get things done, period, because they get so tangential often like a million different directions, okay? Another problem that Geminis can have is like being uh, kind of like steadfast in their loyalty and that's like a perception and that's why I'm putting like air quotes around it so if you're a Gemini like don't be offended and don't come after me uh, over that because it's not my intention to <laughs> you know to cause harm in any way but Gemini does like stimulation so it likes things to change all the time it likes uh, newness and it likes uh, feeling like things aren't the same and like they're never gonna be the same from moment to moment because that's who Gemini is. Gemini is like the most changeable sign of the entire zodiac. So they want, because they're an air sign and they're the third sign, so they're the first air sign of the zodiac, okay? And they're mutable. So they're really like about the change of it all. Notice we're changing into some woodlands as we walk here. So how do you make the most of that energy? Well, for starters, you go with the flow in that you like your changeability as a Gemini. You have to work with your mutability as a Gemini. You have to keep things moving, you have to keep things shaking and different. But if say you're having a problem being like really scatterbrained and stuff, well, how do you solve that? Good question. You solve that through writing notes because Gemini is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is the note taker um, and I'm like giving Mercury not nearly enough credit by saying that but it is the note taker so it's like the scribe if you will of the zodiac and Mercury is also ooh, Robin hi Robins I'm not helping your Gemini ADD am I <laughs> but you know Mercury is also the symbol of uh, writing things down and keeping things structured in a more written format. So this is going to be beneficial to you if you consider like, wait a minute, maybe I should be writing more things down in a fun, kind of like, different structure, different way that I haven't gone about doing this before. And if you can have like a planner as a Gemini, like a book, an actual book that you use to plan things, that's going to really serve you at the end of the day. because you can just be more kind of like organized within your larger sporadic crazy all over nature and speaking of which look at these adorable little wild violets aren't they freaking cute how cute are they answer so cute they're so cute that's how cute they are but before I lose your Gemini attention, be sure to subscribe and comment and like and hit the bell notification and all the things that the Geminis out there should be doing for more info like this, okay? But you know, that's how you can keep yourself on track as Gemini, is writing things down in a fun way that is fun for you. Get a planner, decorate it, personalize it, make it like as bedazzled and interesting and full of different inspirational quotes and everything. And if you can keep yourself accountable as a Gemini to hold on to that one piece of equipment, okay? Okay, that one organizing tool, if you will, and just have all of your craziness contained in that one little thing of like what you need to do, when it needs to be done by, what things you need to do, like baby steps, break it down, and like maybe give yourself some type of like Gemini reward system where like you get to play your favorite video game or read your favorite book for like 20 minutes as soon as you get one of those little things done on your list. 
like hack your Gemini energy. Gemini energy wants stimulation, it wants constant movement, it doesn't want to stay in the same flow for too long, okay? It wants that newness, it's part of its happy, it's part of its like spice of life, okay? So do that and give yourself fun. It also wants fun, right? Gemini wants fun. It's the sign of siblings, communication, third house, partnerships at a fun friend level. So if you can like incentivize yourself with that, you will win, Geminis. You're here to win, that's right, through fun, okay? And mental stimulation, because you're smart and savvy cats like that. So with that said, again, be sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification button, uh, like this video if it brought you value, put a comment down below letting me know if I was like totally off on your Gemini energy. Give me some feedback, people, good or bad, I don't care, really, honestly. And make sure you leave a comment, leave a comment with a question for another video, because I want to keep up the Q&A series. So with that said, May the stars be with you, not against you, Gemini. Keep it focused. You got this. Remember, small things. Break it into small, accomplishable things in one place, one planner. All right, peace. <laughs>